Mr. Arrington is recognized for five Chairman, minutes. Chairman, thank you for the uh, hearing witnesses. Thank you for your time. Um, I, I think the intentions and the goodwill are uh, real across the aisle and across the spectrum here in terms of wanting to help families and children in our country. I don't have any question. But, <laughs> you know, the road to bad outcomes is paved with good intentions. And I think that the Build Back Better on whole uh, will result in a lot of bad outcomes, a lot of bad outcomes. And, and, and so let me, let me start with um, uh, Ajin Poo, Ms. Ajin Poo. Um, are rising costs a real strain on working families today? Yes, they are. Um, we've seen policies led by the Democrats, and I want the context to be for all to understand that while I appreciate the chairman's comments that generally we find consensus in order to pass legislation that is this significant and this vast and this numerous, that is not the case. So let's be clear, this is purely partisan. It's been done on both sides, I don't disagree, but this is a purely partisan bill, not a single Republican. Out of, out of literally thousands of amendments, there wasn't a single amendment accepted. So let's just make sure that's clear. The policies of paying people to stay at home rather than to go back to work because you're paying them more to be at home than at work when we as Republicans offered, I think, common sense amendments that said, just don't pay people more to be on unemployment than to be back to work if we're trying to recover. And the massive trillions of dollars in spending that was supposed to be for COVID, but was really bailing out union pensions and other things that we need to deal with, no question. We're probably gonna have to spend some money, no question. But we have, we have created a, a, a storm of, of, of inflation and burden, and quite frankly, it's the tax on every man. And that's only gonna get worse. Even liberal tax policy experts say the taxes will translate to higher cost and lower wages. So I agree with Ms. Agent Pooh. It This is, inflation is real. $377 on average for our families. That's a car payment, that's utilities. Folks can't even afford to fill up their car and get to work. And we're talking about expanding the entitlement Without, without work, we're talking about more deficit spending, we're talking about more translation into inflation, and, and, and I'll get back to you, I promise Mr. I'll come back to you. Thank you for making it a quick answer. Uh, Ms. Botaic, are fewer jobs and lower wages better or worse for working families? I don't think that we need to put those two against each are, other. Are, are they better or worse? Are, it, it, are, are fewer jobs and lower wages better or worse for working families? The Build Back Better Act creates millions of okay. jobs and at the same time raises wages okay. for uh, care workers okay. as well as many other workers. Well, listen, here's the deal. We had millions of jobs created by our job creators when we lessened the burden and all boats rose on the tide of prosperity. Wages went up at the highest rate in recorded history. Poverty went down, poverty rate lowest in recorded history. It wasn't because of some central plan government, you know, way to help everybody, help me less government is what I would say. It was because we unleashed uh, uh, the free markets, the economy, we, we allowed families to keep more of their paycheck. And, and by the way, when I hear people, and I appreciate Ms. Delora, she's a fine lady, but she talks about helping the small business. Baloney, there are surtaxes upon surtaxes that are gonna create a tax system for small businesses where most of small businesses are gonna pay more than 50% of their income to the government at the state and federal level. That is not going to help our working families. So that's a problem. Um, let me ask you, uh, Mr. Elliott, um, should, um, should able-bodied people who receive taxpayer assistance who need it Okay, no dispute there. Should they be able, should they be required or expected or incentivized to either work or be looking for work? Yes or no? I think that's a more nuanced question. No, it's not a nuanced know. question. Should people who receive assistance, who need it, I'm not dis dis disputing that there's, there are needs out there, but 
if they're able to work, should they be expected to, and should we as policymakers incentivize people to work? I would say that the Build Back Better plan does help working families, in particular for this It year. takes out the work requirement with a trillion dollar no, new cash. Hold on a second, re let me, respect. please. Re let's re it takes away the work requirement in a refundable tax credit that's a trillion dollars, and, and in my opinion, with all due respect, it's gonna trap more people, not lift more people out of poverty. Mr. Re Chairman, I know I've gone over my time. I've got a whole set of, of, of issues. I hope we have second and third rounds because I have, I have concerns, and I know I've taken more of the time than I than is allotted me. So I hope we get more discussion in here uh, for this hearing. Thank you, and I yield back, and I thank the witnesses for their comments.